Mark Barnes, why do you want to make your life so difficult? What on earth are you doing looking to buy the South African post office? Have you completely lost your mind? Well, thank you, Bronwyn, probably. Uh, but, uh, you know, I think it's become increasingly valid what we were trying to do, which is to make the post office the accessible point of intersection between the informal and formal economies. And, uh, you know, COVID and various other things and the continuing demise, if I might say so, of the old fashioned model that was the post office has got to a point where it's really quite desperate now. They can't pay pension fund contributions and medical and so on. And, and the, the uses and applications of a commercially irreplaceable infrastructure that has got access to a safe national payment system are increasing day by day. So forget about the name post office. Think commercial infrastructure, think access to a computer, think social grants that are no longer being carried around in handbags, think cell phones, think you know, smart codes, and then find a place where that can all transact in a safe environment. You know, people need to go, uh, there was that old TV story, people need to go to a place where they know your name, okay? And that was the post office. You walk in there, you know the person behind the counter, you've been depositing your money there since you were a child, and now you're transacting over the internet and collecting your e-parcel and paying your uh, fine and, you know, collecting your password from someone that you know and that you've inter and who knows who you are. We need to personalize and yet we need to live in the ether. And the post office is that link. But isn't it an enormous headache to get it to that point? Wouldn't it just be beyond any normal amount of effort? Not to the right partners. So I'm not looking to do this as me. I'm saying that there are big players internationally, primarily internationally, who would love, so to speak, to get their hands on this infrastructure, this distribution, this logistics capacity, that, and the rights and obligations in balance with the state. Okay. So if you look at, if you look at, if you start looking at the post office completely different, you look at it as a data play. You know, we've got 18 million beneficiaries. We've got 11.8 million addresses, we've got 6 million depositors, I can go on and on, and we are an organ of state, so we're connected to home affairs, we've got all these kinds of things. So who's doing what with that data? And I would argue that for the target market of the post office, that data is not being treated virtuously, it's being treated exploitatively, okay? And so we can go in there and make sure you haven't got seven uh, you know, funeral policies and that you, your medical aid scheme is valid and, and that, your, that the loan that you've signed up for is not extortionary and, and, and so on. And I just think there's a massive virtuous business that's in the interest of bringing, let's talk about the divide, bringing a rural person into the digital How economy. How serious are you about this, Mark? How serious are you about making this happen? I'm dead serious. I mean, I put in an offer four months ago and the reason it's in the newspaper today is because I think it deserves attention and I didn't get a response, although I've got acknowledgement of receipt. And so I think I'm not alone. I think there are a lot of business people out there or business ideas out there or international and local partners out there who need to be paid attention to. We need to stop being on opposite sides of this abyss and both thinking we're right. We're not right until we meet in the middle. The offer you put in, was it an acceptable offer or, I mean, I why know. have you had radio silence? I don't know. Maybe I'm not acceptable. Maybe, uh, you know, sharing, uh, you, you know, this asset, you know, I mean, I think we all don't trust each other yet. You know, I think there's, I think there's a, there, there's sort of complexes on either side of this table, which, which, which should intersect. So we need to go, okay, is the water deep enough? Do you want to grab my hand and swim to the side? Okay, and the water, Bronwyn, is deep enough. Okay, Mark, I will come swimming myself. with you. I will come swimming with you. Thank Mark you. Barnes, thank you very much for joining us here on the Nielsen Network.